Hi, Gemini, Mary here with your monthly guidance. This is for the month of December, 2021. Remember it's a general reading, so it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. You know, sometimes spirit just talks to us through some of these messages. You can check out your moon sign and your rising sign, as well as your sun sign. All right, so let's see what we have for the sign of Gemini. Right, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the star card. Oops. So this is a card of hope for the future. It's a card that can connotate that you're going through a healing process. And also that you could be maybe um, in a star type of venue. So you may be uh, an actress on the stage. You might have a YouTube channel. You might be a singer, just somehow uh, the star. <laughs> okay. This is interesting because you have three major arcana out of four cards. So the first card up is the moon. So I feel like you're getting clarity. Something is coming to the light that is leading to a transformation. So the moon um, sheds light on a situation. So something is becoming clear to you and it's leading to this transformation, it's the death card, don't be concerned. Um, the death card is all about new beginnings. So you're going through the death of one thing and uh, a new beginning and something else or transformation. And it's this clarity that's helping you through that. And, and I think you are healing from something. So you're definitely going through a healing process. Um, and the card under that star card is the six of cups. So. It's something from your past that you're healing. Now you're walking away from something that no longer serves you and that's followed by the judgment card. So this could be that you're having a spiritual awakening and you're walking um, away from old patterns, old belief systems towards new belief systems and new patterns. Um, you're leaving what no longer serves you. That could be you know, old habits or behaviors uh, maybe not eating right, not taking care of your body correctly, but you're, you're, you're going through a judgment process with this. And I believe that you're walking away from the old and going towards the new. So let's see what the, the clarity is for these cards. Can you clarify the moon card for us, Spirit? The sign of Gemini. Thank you so much. Look at the angel experience. Thank you so much. Okay, the clarity for the moon card is five of cups and the eight of swords. So there's something that you've been up in your head about. There's something that you are maybe resenting. You're having some resentments, but you need to maybe spirit wants you to look at the, the cups that are right behind you. So you're not aware of the cups that are full behind you because you're focusing on the empty cups and you're all up in your head, kind of a prison of your own making, where you're up in your head about a situation. You could easily come out of this if you remove the blindfold and, uh, and the ropes that are tied here. So this is up to you. I believe these are your thoughts, maybe. Let me pull one more card. What is this? You know, I feel like you're getting clear about your own thoughts and your own resentments. And um, I think what's going to become clear to you with this moon card is the cups that are full for you, okay? So let's clarify this death card. The sign of Gemini. Thank you so much, Gemini Angels. Please clarify the death card for the sign of Gemini for December. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So there's a message coming in possibly for you that has to do with some new action that you'll be taking. And I believe that it's going to lead to security. So security um, financially, that you have the things that you need, the ability to make decisions, the clarity to, to, to see what matters in your life, what's, what's the priority, 
and you'll be taking action in regards to that. It could also be a young person coming into your life with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, um, or an earth sign coming into your life. So it could be a child coming into your life with the page energy, and it could be someone older coming into your life, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, but I feel like this is all about your transformation and feeling more confident to move forward as you let go of stuff that no longer serves you and taking new action. So this could even be just taking new action as far as exercise, eating, taking care of your body, moving your body, um, things of that nature. So let's see what this Eight of Cups is. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Thank you so much. I don't know. All right, we have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You're determined, you are determined to get what it is that you want. You are determined to stand your ground, to get what you need. And you're paying attention to your emotions with this queen of cups. So you're paying attention to your emotions. You're paying attention to um, your inner guidance. You're walking away from what no longer serves you and you're standing your ground with this. So you're determined. You're determined to do this. Um, whatever this situation is for you. Why is the judgment card here, please? I feel like the judgment card is here because you, you may be going through an awakening, the awakening process, waking up to who you truly are, spirit and human body. Um, let's see. Yes, you're making a decision. You have, okay, so we, we've got the four of swords, which means you're in a time of rest, rejuvenation, contemplation, looking at your life and all of the opportunities that you have. So there's opportunities coming your way once you let go of what no longer serves you. Once you walk away from this old belief patterns, old, old beliefs, old patterns of behavior, um, and taking that action will, will bring about some new opportunities. And that was followed by the moon card. So you got two moons <laughs> in this reading. So you're definitely, something's coming to light for you and you're taking action based on, on that information. So let's see what spirit has. What guidance do you have for the sign of Gemini? Thank you so much. And we have manifesting miracles, Archangel Orion. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. So you are manifesting. So pay attention to your thoughts, your words, your actions, your deeds. Um, focus on the positive as you walk away from what no longer serves. Focus on the two cups that are full. Focus on what you do have. You're going through this healing process, this awakening process, and I feel like it's leading you to a whole new chapter and opportunities. Okay, this is the Sea and Soul Illumination Oracle deck. You can get on my Etsy channel, Lighthouse Healer, my Etsy store, Etsy channel. I'm not exactly a marketing person. <laughs> okay, so this is the whale intuition. And I think I said to follow your intuition or you would be following your intuition um, because you, you know yourself, you know your emotions, you know, you know when something's right and when something's not right. So pay attention to that just as the whale does. Number 26 is, adds up to eight. Two plus six adds up to eight and eight's a number about infinite possibilities. You know, there's all those timelines out there. It's up to you to choose the highest timeline for you. And we have medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So the spirit keeps kind of giving us the same message in different cards, which is pay attention to that gut feeling, that intuition, that inner knowing is telling you uh, how to move forward. You may be going into some sort of healing practice, healing modality. I know you're going through healing. 
you know, this has been a tough year for many, many people. Um, so you're going through a healing process, but you may also be offering healing. Uh, I see. So mending fences. Many of you are going through this um, time of forgiveness, mending fe fences with um, people in your family, friends, um, maybe even yourself. I feel like there's, there's someone that you need to forgive and let them know that you forgive them. Um, and that will help you to move forward. Let's see. Let's see what energy is surrounding uh, Gemini for this month of December. Just getting a message that, um, I'm just getting a message. It takes two to tango, that kind of thing. So um, there's something that you may have to apologize for. Um, that's not for everyone, but I'm just putting it out there. Oh, we, we have Lord Shiva Transcendence. Transcendence. So rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given dance with the universe. So go with the flow. You're being guided. Pay attention to your intuition. You're being guided to let go of the old and embrace the new. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. If you like these readings, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment if you resonate. And I hope that you have a very happy holiday season and a great month of December. So we'll see you next time. Thanks. Take care.